So the biggest losers have to be the Alpha Investment Timmies who paid $500 a box. That is a lot of money for any booster box, right? Especially of a new card game. Hopefully now people can learn that it's not easy. It is actually quite difficult when you're trying to make money from a product that should be viewed as kind of a game, as a game piece, if you will. Um, I do think that going from $500 a box to essentially almost nothing, which is $20 a booster box, is pretty, pretty bad. And I do believe that it will probably continue. Uh, that's why I'm personally not buying more MetaZoo right now. I think MetaZoo actually has more to drop. Uh, I had offered $10 or $15 a booster box. And people laughed at that. But, I mean, we're getting pretty close to the $15 point mark. And let's be honest, if it does hit $15... Um, you know, well, what 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 can you say? That's not a how can I say that? That's not a um fifteen dollars isn't from a seller individual seller, it's from a retail. It's fifteen dollars, it's twenty dollars retail for UFO, which I have now learned is actually thirty six packs, meaning each pack is around fifty cents just about. Um this is pretty amazing. Like um yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, it, is, is it not amazing to you? Like, it's amazing to me. Um, I definitely find it kind of astonishing and even surprising that it's that low. But at the same time, uh, I kind of get it. Um, I definitely get it. And it makes sense because no one's playing the game. Even for a, a dead card game, this is really weird. Like, even for a dead card game, this is not normal for these things to be selling so cheaply. There are dead card games, like Legend of Five Rings. There's, like, a whole, like, Facebook group for dead card games. And they're selling for, like, $50, $60 a box. Mega Man cards. And some boxes can go for thousands uh, of dollars a box. If you look at uh, Inuyasha, which has been dead for many years, the booster boxes. And there's only 12. Again, there's 12 packs of box can go for over a hundred dollars uh depending or you know 50 60 70 dollars for a third of a booster box right and here we have a living card game where supposedly there are so many fans right of this card game again i'm skeptical you know i've been the number one meta zoo content creator for a while and i realized the kingdom is uh quite small the kingdom is very very small and they all kind of look like Alpha Investments and Argos with the salt and pepper hair, right? Um, they definitely do not look like, they do not look like uh, the Claire's demographic. You know, I, I put it that way for you. So as the number one MetaZoo content creator, I have to say is like, what's going on here? Why is these things selling for $20? If there's so much high demand for them and... You know, why don't, why don't I get thousands of views? You know, what, what's going on? Like, how come I can't get any views on MetaZoo? Is it because that the MetaZoo isn't actually as big as they say it is? Is it because some of these numbers have been inflated to be a pump and dump? Is it because the guy that you're staring at right now, he's the only thing keeping any interest in it and when he posts a meta zoo video it's 99 percent negative feedback and negativity which is getting to this guy right here i think it's probably all of the above and uh, even more um again i i really do believe that meta zoo has more i mean it's funny to just talk about it's 30 dollars for their tops chrome they love tops chrome guys they love tops chrome like when I mean they love Topps Chrome, they'd be chasing the hollow foils and they think it's like Pokemon Chrome gone to the moon, right? But like look at the prices of this stuff. This is This is really bad, guys. Like, you know, even for me, this is bad. You know, like the Meta Zoo is just not going up in price no matter how hard it's pump. You know, I think Rudy's gotta dedicate his whole channel to pumping this. Um, otherwise, they're, it's going to go to zero. Like, again, the cards actually never go to zero. 
Um, cards rarely ever go to zero, but this is getting like close, and it's getting close because, um, let's go ahead and just say it. I mean, I've never seen a living or a dead card game that sells their booster boxes, 36, any of the booster boxes, for $20 a booster box. I don't know. Not in today's society. What? Not in today. Like, I know back in the olden days, there might have been, like, you know, because uh, money was better back then, right? Money was easier. And what right now we're dealing with hyperinflation and Joe Biden economics, uh, Bidenomics, if you will. Uh, but I do not know of a, another product that is a living card game today, 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 that sells their 36 pack booster boxes for that little amount of money. Um, I just don't know. Um, there's a dude here who seems like a nice dude. He streamed two over two hours of MetaZoo fan art and he got 27 views. My dude, these cards are one third the price of Pokemon. No, no, not. They're actually one fifth, one sixth. MetaZoo really, cards are really being slept on. You can get multiple different boxes. My God, this is. Here's another guy from Texas, Texan Spaniard. He made a video. He's got 10 views in five days. Golden Glory. Uh, video 74 views in six days. What is this? Cryptid Nation second edition packs. Oh, second edition isn't valuable. I saw a second edition for like sixty dollars on sale. The real MetaZoo, the real Prince MetaZoo. I mean, these guys are barely getting hundreds, a hundred plus views. And the boxes is barely is not even over twenty dollars. What the hell are we doing here, guys?